Hi, my name is Amber, and this is the Harry Potter tag. I don't have it written down who originally created this. If I find out, I will have their video linked down below. Questions one through four, I'm kind of going to cheat a little bit on because one and two are your favorite and least favorite book, and three and four are your favorite and least favorite movie. They're both the same for both of them. My favorite book and movie is Order of the Phoenix. It always has been. I just, I loved the movie when I first watched it, and I love the book. I don't know what it is about it. I guess just the setup of them coming together and fighting, and the whole entire plot with Umbridge and Fred and George, I think, are fantastic in it. So I love them in that one. I just, it's been my favorite forever. For my least favorite book and movie that has to be Chamber of Secrets, rewatching the movie, I don't remember much of the movie when I first watched it originally, but rewatching it now, I just realized how bad it is. I didn't really care for the book. I don't remember much from the book. Um, I don't know, that one just is my least favorite out of all of them. Not that I just don't like it in general. It's the entire series is fantastic. I just, that one ends up being my least favorite if I have to pick. Question number five, if you could remake a movie, which one? If there was going to be a remake, I don't think they should ever remake the Harry Potter series. I think the cast was fantastic. I think the movies were brilliant and amazing and I don't think they should ever redo them. But if they were going to, I think two would be the perfect one just because, I don't know, it just needs something. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm one of the few that just doesn't like the second one. Question number six, which parts of the books or movie made you cry? There are three main ones that stick out to me every time I think about this that made me cry both in the books and the movies. Number one for sure that made me cry both situations, even though I knew it was coming. But number one has to be Fred's death in the last one. I Those two are some of my favorite characters throughout both movies and books, and I love them so much. They're hilarious and witty and caring and adorable together, and seeing their relationship throughout the story was, you just see how close they are. So having to deal with George's feelings throughout Fred's death was even worse. I bawled my eyes out in the movie and the book. Snape's death did make me tear up more in the movie than it did in the book. I think he's a great character and I just love seeing him throughout the story and his death was really sad to me, especially how violent it was. The last one that kind of got me was when Hermione is being tortured by Bellatrix in Deathly Hallows. It was definitely difficult not to cry during that. Question number seven, if you could hook up with any Harry Potter character, who would it be? This one's pretty easy for me because I think a lot of them are terrible at relationships especially Harry. I think Neville would honestly be the best in any relationship because of how sweet and adorable he is. He's just so caring and kind and he would fight for you and care for you and I just think he would he would be the best person to be with. Question number eight, what would your Patronus be? Now there is a test out right now where you can figure that out. When I took the test, it told me I was a dolphin. I'm not quite sure I agree with that. Um, it's just kind of a weird one for me. I don't know why a dolphin would fit me. I mean, I guess, but I always had it in my head that a cat was going to be my Patronus, just any cat, because I just feel like that would work the best. So I, I'm going to say cat, even though Pottermore says that it's a dolphin. <laughs> Question number nine, your favorite quote. This one is definitely very, very easy for me. As soon as I read this quote, it was my favorite automatically, and it was the main one that comes into my head whenever I think of a favorite Harry Potter quote. It is just in the books. I don't remember. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's never in the movies. It is from Goblet of Fire, and it is, I believe, Sirius Black who says it. I'm going to read it because I'm going to mess it up if I try to say it by myself. <laughs> if you want to know what a man's like, take a good look at how he treats his inferiors, not his equals. That quote's fantastic to me and I don't think it gets enough notice and I just, I love that quote so much. So it is definitely my favorite. Question number 10, your Hogwarts house. This one's pretty easy. I am a Hufflepuff. I spent most of my life not sure which house I would be in. Once I took the Pottermore test, I ended up taking that test three times. No, I took it four times. Did I take it four times? Maybe five. I might have taken this test five times. If I'm not mistaken, I took it the first time and got Hufflepuff, the second time I got Slytherin, and I think I took it again and got Hufflepuff during the old Pottermore. At that point, I was just pretty much like, the, okay, Hufflepuff is probably what I need to stick with. That seems to be the one I go for. When they redid the Pottermore test, I got Hufflepuff again, and I was 100% ready at that point to pretty much just say yes this is this is it I have to accept that this is the house that I would be in after doing research on the house and learning more about the house I just realized how perfect it was how easily my personality fit with Hufflepuffs I'm, I'm working on building up my collection of Hufflepuff things but that is definitely the house that I would be in question number 11 your favorite Weasley I'm cheating the twins does that count as one or does that count as two <laughs> easily the twins I love Ron to death hate Percy <laughs> all the other brothers are just kind of like whatever, but Fred and George are definitely my number one favorite Weasleys. I 
they're fantastic. How do you not love them? Question number 12, your favorite villain. When it comes to villains, as much as I love a villain that I can love and that they have a backstory or they can change or whatever it is, my favorite all-time villains are the ones that I just seriously hate, that I cannot stand. If I don't like a villain, it's a good villain. I don't want to feel anything for them. I don't want to feel bad for them. I don't want to know if their backstory is the reason they're like this. If there is just no way that I can like them or feel sorry for them, they're a fantastic villain in my eyes, and I think number one probably has to be Umbridge. She's terrible in every single way, and you, you can't help but to hate her as a character. Question number 13. If you could meet a member of the cast, who would you meet? Anyone? I honestly would be fine with meeting just about anyone on this cast. There's not really anyone that I wouldn't want to meet. They're all fantastic. Question number 14. Have you played any of the video games? I picked up randomly at a yard sale one time the Lego 3DS game. I think it was a really old one too. I hated it. I couldn't stand it. I haven't really played any console games for it. Uh, I definitely did play the DVD menu games when I was a kid, especially the first one when you had to. I remember all of the games in the first DVD that I had where you had where you had to memorize which order the bricks were in and just small things like that. I played those DVD games constantly when it first came out. <laughs> Question number 15, were you happy with the ending? Yes. I'm trying to think if I had any issues with the ending, but I don't think I did. I'm, I mean, besides certain deaths, certain deaths not being a thing would be great. But besides that, I thought the ending was fantastic. I thought it was perfectly fine. Question number 16, which actor is Dumbledore? I cannot think of names right now. The second actor definitely is my favorite. I think he portrays Dumbledore so well and so perfectly. Question number 17, favorite class. Care of magical creatures would probably be number one for me. Anything revolving around animals or creatures just sounds fantastic. <laughs> Question number 18, most useful spell. Accio has to be the most useful spell to me. To be able to just say this and have it come to you, I think would be just amazing to have in everyday life and be able to use all the time because I would use it constantly. Question number 19, bring one character back to life. Very easily, Fred. Fred would be number one. Question number 20, hollows or horcruxes? I don't know why you would pick horcruxes. Who picks horcruxes? That sounds terrible. I'm gonna go with hollows, 100%. <laughs> question number 21, how much does Harry Potter mean to you? This one's a hard question for me to answer just because of the fact that I didn't read the books when they first came out. I had seen the movies first. I didn't read the books until I I think last year is when I started reading them. So my relationship with the series is definitely mostly based on the movies until I had read the books, but I still grew up with those movies. I still loved the movies. It is honestly not something that has slowed down with me getting older. It has grown. My love of Harry Potter has grown the older I get, and it's definitely one of the reasons why I am in this community right now and why I've loved the book community so much, because that is definitely one series that a lot of us can feel that community with can feel that togetherness because of that one series. So I think just to the book world, it means everything. Well, that is all the questions in the Harry Potter tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.